We're starting off the second chapter with uh, function operations, and we're continuing with composition of functions, and I'm throwing them both into the one video here. Okay, so we're going to have two functions, f and g, and we're going to make a third function, h, by combining the two by using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, you'll see that with addition, kind of makes sense. You just take your two functions, add them together, or you can take the x's and y's like we're doing over here and add them together. So if we're doing addition, um, f of x is 5x, g of x is x plus 2, so we put those two, add them together, 5x plus x is 6x, and then the 2 comes along for the ride. If we're doing subtraction, okay, we take our 5x minus our x plus 2, and now notice I put it in parentheses because that's a reminder that this, this minus sign carries through. So you have to remember that you have to subtract x and subtract 2. So then we take our 5x minus x, we get 4x minus 2, so 4x minus 2 is our answer. Not sure what just happened there. All right, with multiplication, we take our 5x times our x plus 2. You'll notice we're going to distribute here. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x plus times 2 is 10x. And then with the division, you know, you're just going to write the 1 over the other. It's not a big deal. Okay, now here's some examples. Okay, first one. We've got f of x and g of x here, and we're told to add them. Now, in this case, when we're adding them with a 2, we can put, we can add them together like we did up above first, and then plug the 2 in. I prefer to plug the 2 in right away on both of them and then just add the answers later. Now, I could have shown you both, but I'd rather show more examples and not uh, two different options here. So, we take our 2 and plug it in. So, we get our 3 times 2 plus 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. We take and plug our 2 in here. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Minus 3 is a negative 13. And then remember, we are adding these. That's up here we're adding. So we take our negative 13 plus 10. It doesn't really matter the order, but I did it the way they said it, g plus f. So negative 13 plus 10 is negative 3. Now we have a subtraction one, plugging in a 4. So we put a 4 in the top one. 4 squared is 16. And then plug the 4 in there. You get 5 times 4 is 20. 16 plus 20, 36. Then plug the 4 in the bottom part. We got 4 times 4 which is 16 minus the 1. 16 minus 1 is 15. And then you got to make sure of the order. It says H minus T. So then you take 36 minus the 15. Otherwise, it would have been 15 minus 36. You would have got the opposite of this, which happened to be 21 in this case. You would have gotten negative 21 if it would have said T minus H. And our third example here, we've got 3x three, three plus 2 and x cubed plus x squared as our two functions. And it says this is multiplication with negative 3. Plug it in, plug it in. 3 times negative 3, you'll see, is negative 9. Plus a 2, negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. Plug the negative 3 into here. Okay, negative 3 cubed plus negative 3 squared. Now, negative 3 cubed, since it's cubed, it will stay negative. Because you'd have two negatives will cancel up, you still have one more negative. 3 times 3 times 3 is negative 27. Negative 3 squared. Now, if you did that on the calculator without the parentheses, it would say negative 9. It would be wrong. Remember, anytime you square a number, whether it's positive or negative, it will be positive. So that's why we get the plus 9. Then negative 27 plus 9 is negative 18. And now we've got to multiply the two together. Again, the order does not matter in this case. Negative 7 times negative 18. The two negatives will cancel out. You'll get a positive 126. All right. Now I have division. And with division, it's easier to plug it in. We put the 3 in. Okay, so we get 3 times 3, which is 9, minus the 11, which came along for the ride. 9 minus 11 is negative 2. That would be, since it says g over h, that will be our numerator, negative 2. The denominator, we plug in the 3. 4 plus 3 is 12, or 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 2 that came along for the ride, we get 14. We have a negative 2 over 14, which reduces to negative 1 7th. 
with now here's where we're getting into compositions. Now it looks kind of weird here. We got f, this is read f of g of 3. So what we do is we always plug in the inside one. So we take our g of 3 and we plug it in here. So we get 2 times 3 squared plus 4. 3 squared is 9. 2 times 9, 18 plus 4, 22. So that's what we got when we did g of 3. Now notice this 22 is equal to g of 3. So we're going to take this g of 3, get rid of it, and put 22 in there. So we're going to end up with an f of 22. So you look up top, left was 11x minus 2, or f of x was 11x minus 2. So that means we're going to put the 22 where we saw the x, 11 times 22 minus 2. Now, 11 times 22 isn't readily obvious in your head, but we know 11 times 11 is 121. Just double it, 242. Minus 2, 240. All right, now this one's a little more interesting. We got G of H of H of 5. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Just do it from inside to outside. H of 5. So we put the 5 in here. We get a 3 minus 2 times 5. 3 minus 10 is negative 7. Now, where we had the h of 5, you now put in negative 7. So you're going to have an h of negative 7. So we're going to have 3 minus 2 times our negative 7. Well, 2 times negative 7 is negative 14, but we do have this subtraction here. So minus a negative is plus. So we get 3 plus 14 is 17. So now, since 17 was e equal to h of negative 7, we're replacing all this mess right here with 17. So that means we're going to have a g of 17. g was 8 times a, which in this case is 17. So 8 times 17 minus 41. 8 times 17 is 136. Minus 41, you get a final answer of 95. Alrighty, talk to you later.